What is up everybody, I'm FHRC Brony and today I'm going to be driving my Ford Capri in Forza Horizon 2. Driving from Place Messina, France, all the way somewhere I believe in Montalino. Anyways guys, um, I just want to talk about uh, this car a little bit and my overall experience in driving a real car in the real world. Um, first of all, let's talk about this car here. Uh, this is a Ford Capri. I actually got this uh, as a barn find. Most of you guys probably know that. Um, according to what Ashley said, uh, we don't really see uh, these things in the States, which is kind of true. But actually, she's technically correct, and but she's also wrong at the same time. Because the reason why I'm saying that Ashley's uh, is right and wrong is because the the part that she got right is we don't really see the Ford Capri being sold in the States uh, or basically North America. However, I had to counter argue with that because the res according to my research, the Ford Capri in North America is actually sold as the Mercury Capri, and that's a and Mercury is basically Ford's sub brand, much as like. Chevrolet is with GMC and Cadillac and also Buick so uh, Ford owns uh, two other companies uh, which is Mercury and Lincoln so yeah um, that's a little bit of a brief inter information if you guys uh, don't know what the Capri is uh, it, like I said I've actually never seen a Capri myself in North America especially for a, a person who actually lived in California since I was since who since I was born uh, but they're not really I don't think they're really that hard to find I could be the lucky ones that could find one but anyways this is a Ford Capri this is basically the European model of the, of the Capri as you can see the steering wheels on this side uh, so I believe this was actually sold somewhere maybe in Britain uh, when this car uh, was being made Anyways, enough of that, enough blabbing with the, about the car, uh, other than its drivability. As yes, you enjoy this drive, uh, keep in mind there are some stupid drive guitars out there. You're going to be hitting my car, um, and me accidentally hitting other cars I shouldn't be doing. Uh, most, uh, most of the time it's not my fault, you'll see what I mean. Anyways, enough blabbing, I just wasted like a few minutes of talking about this car. Uh, let's get on to the... Um, to what I really want to talk about. Um, as you guys may notice about my uh, my permit test, uh, you've seen that video of me in the Cal at the California DMV. Um, you guys, I was talking about how long it was. The, the lines were so long. I had to do go over all of these things and stuff like that. Yeah, just to take the damn test. Yeah. And I did say that I passed my permit test, which is basically the written exam. I'm, I don't, I technically, technically don't have my license yet. Um, however, I don't. If you guys are who live in other countries who have different regulations when it comes to driving a car, um, if you're kind of afraid that I'm driving a car without a license, don't worry because I have a permit. So, in the state of California, I am able to drive a car with a permit as long as I'm accompanied by someone who is over 18 I believe who's over 18 who has a valid driver's license basically it's someone who's who has a valid driver's license um, in California as long as I have if they have that and I have the permit with me and I'll be fine so um, so what's it like to be driving a car in, in real life compared to a Forza game in a Forza game it's not really simulated it does you do in Forza Horizon 1 2 and 3 and, and also the upcoming Forza Horizon 4 by the way Forza Horizon 4 will be taking place in England so I'll be able to have experience of driving a car over there in the UK uh, even though I've actually <laughs> never been to the UK but I do have relatives who live in Bristol so anyways so what's it like to be driving a real car compared to Forza? Well, it's a major difference in Forza uh, in real life. In Forza, you don't really feel like you're really doing anything. Um, when you're like, because most of the time you're, 
most players who are playing Forza, especially when they're just free roaming or racing, um, they're just, just using a controller. There's not really much stimulation going on there. Maybe a little uh, vibration on the controller and that's it. Um, the wheel, the, the steering wheel with the force feedback is a little bit better, but that only gives you the, um, the kind of um, the intensity of the wheel. So like if you're going around a corner at high speeds and your car's understeering, uh, the wheel will have that force feedback that's that allows it to shake and make it look like you're actually um, interacting with the car and that's well and good and also but if you really want to go more realistic with that you get one of those uh, those hydraulic ones which are like the thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars which is so expensive so those are well and good but compared to that with real life um, real life uh, driving is a lot different than Forza. Why? It's because you're actually sitting in a legitimate automobile. Um, as a first time driver, uh, going out there on the road, I was driving a 2015 Honda Civic that's being owned by my dad. And driving that car was, even though that car is like a, four, is, that car is literally a four cylinder with only 150 horsepower. And that's, and honestly, um, Compared to modern day cars, uh, that's like at least 200 horsepower, 150 horsepower doesn't look like enough. It, like it doesn't sound much, right? But as a first time driver, it feels like that I'm driving like a Corvette or a Ferrari or something because I don't even know what's going on. As my dad, as my dad told me, driving a real car is nothing like Forza. Why? It's because you're actually driving a legitimate automobile and you're actually uh, adapting to this new, this new, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, it, but you're just adapting to this new type of. Looks like I would I would say technology or something, but it's, I don't think it's correct though. But basically, when I drove that my dad's Honda Civic, I felt nervous. Like I didn't, I felt like that I was about to hit someone. Um, Compared to Forza, like if I hit someone, no problem. It's like they don't care. But in real in real life, if you do hit someone, you gotta pay for the damage that's been caused, unless if it's not your fault. So here comes the stupid driver tars again. See, I accidentally hit that uh, Alfa Romeo right there in front of me. So here in Forza, that's completely fine. They don't really give a damn about that. Oh, okay, there goes a Dodge Daytona, just like uh, moving a Ford Ka the way. Yeah, that's literally what that car's name is. It's called the Ford Ka. Um, but, uh, oh, what the? Uh, yeah, it's that da same Daytona driver, he's, he's being an idiot. Um, he doesn't even know how to actually back up his own car, and he is driving like he's drunk. <laughs> Anyways, so, like I said, like, you saw me hit, accidentally hitting that Alfa Romeo. I, I didn't. In, in the game, it's fine, like, they don't really give a damn about it, but if this is real life, if I did that same thing with that, with that, uh, Alfa Romeo, that guy will get mad at me, and I have to pay the damage that's being caused. Yeah, not a good sight. So, so like I said, driving in Forza is nothing like driving in real life. <laughs> and, and in Forza, you can just drive as fast as you want and not get a speeding ticket nor get uh, arrested. Real life, if the police catches you and you and you're speeding, um, you're you're getting a ticket. And if you try to run away from the police, you can run, but you can't hide. The police will catch you. Um, what else? I don't know. It's just. Adapting to the new stuff, me driving for the first time, is kind of nerve-wracking, but as I build my confidence, I'll be fine. Um, and I also did mention about that forerun, the Toyota 4Runner, stuff like that, so... Yeah, that will be my car. So... Um, I guess that's it for now. So... Uh, okay, actually, I have one more thing. Uh, I want you guys to put down, like, write something down on the comments, like, here's a question for you guys. Um, when you guys first learned how to drive, like, what did you guys feel, like, when you were a learner driver? 
let's say when let's go back in time I know there are some people out there who are driving right now if you guys are watching this I want you to like answer this question like when you were starting to drive a car for the very first time what was it like in your experience like did you feel nervous were you confident because there are some people out there who are really confident on okay they're, they're gonna pass the test uh, yeah this, this car is fine but some other people will be like oh shoot it's like eh, it's kind of scary you shouldn't do it you should not should not be flooring it you know you're not supposed to be getting down on the gas and stuff like that so basically tell me what what was your experience when you were driving a car for the very first time like when you just you just got your license and then you're so happy that you uh, you know, pass the test, and, you know, and you're out there on the road, you know, all by yourself and stuff. Like, what was your experience like when you drive a, drove a car for the very first time? Let me know that in the comments. So, sorry about me with rambling a lot. I got so many things to say in this video, so shooting everything from the hip. So, uh, anyways, guys, that's it for now shut up right now and then let you guys enjoy the the drive as this ride comes to an end and as always be sure to stay tuned for more videos here on FHRC including Forza videos RC's and more and all things on the road thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed this